All right, so for those of you who don't know, on my YouTube channel, I have a little series that I call the Learning Series, where I record myself streaming me making my first attempts at bosses. Uh, I've done a couple so far, three or four. There's one or two that I haven't edited yet and put up because there were issues with, but I've done a couple. And they're really popular videos. I mean, some of those videos are some of my most popular videos on the channel. So uh, what we're doing today is another one of those. I have been kind of away from RuneScape for a bit. Uh, not been playing a ton. So we're doing one that's relatively easy today. This is not going to be a super difficult boss. I think for a lot of you guys, you've probably killed this boss at some point. I'm going to have to do a shit ton of this boss because I'm getting Golden Reaper. But today we are going to be learning Legionis. Uh, specifically one and two because they don't have any specials and I don't want to... I'm not sure I have the time today to go through all of the specials in the edited video. I will probably either include off-stream edits or do this in another stream where I do the other Legios, but this is what we're doing for now. So let's start out with our setup. So basic range gear by, or basic, best range gear. Basically at Legios, you're gonna be using range and you wanna use the best ranged gear you can. In my case, that is Serenic, I don't have Elite Serenic. I probably could, I can afford it, I just don't use it. Uh, Serenic, specifically with Enhanced Devoted 4. This is a very important perk because we're gonna be praying Deflect Magic or Protect Magic if you're not on Curses. So we're praying against magic because the Legios deal magic damage. Very important. Enhanced Devoted is very important because sometimes some of their specials will trigger Enhanced Devoted and you can just stand there and DPS them down and not take any damage. Super good, we want that. Outside of that, um, Ascensions are kind of my best uh, my best range gear. I have Ascensions and an Ox. Basically, use whatever your best range gear is possible is. I'm using a Fight Kiln Cape. Took me a second to remember what it's called. I'm using the Fight Kiln Cape EOF. You can use slightly worse gear than this and still get plenty of kills. It's just a matter of the better your gear, the more kills you're gonna get, the faster you're gonna get those kills. All right, so. We have our wiki. This is what I always use. The wiki is super good. If you don't use the wiki already, uh, you're looking for RuneScape information wrong. If you're looking at looking for information on the internet, while I love you watching my videos and watching my stream, uh, the wiki really has all the information that we're ever gonna get here. Uh, so we can look at Legio Primus, see all the information about him, you know, XP, that sort of stuff, how much HP he has. Really the most important thing is, do we have a, yes, yeah, so we do have a strategy guide here. There should be a strategy guide for just about every single boss. Really the most important thing here is um, for Primus and for Segundus, they effectively have no special we need to worry about. And that's part of the reason that we're doing them today is because they really don't have an important special. Um, that's about it. They use magic attacks. They'll launch lightning uh, that we want to not stand in. So basically every time we see them launching lightning, we want to move away from where that lightning is going to land. That's really the mechanic of Primus and Segundus is not getting hit. Later, once we go to things like, I believe Quintus is the hardest one, there are more mechanics, but for Primus and Segundus, really the only mechanic is don't get hit by lightning and also stand closer to them because the closer you stand to them, the more damage you'll deal. The thing about this boss is they're not that hard to kill. They're pretty low HP, but they deal a lot of damage. In fact, you might be able to see, well, I haven't shown my full RuneScape yet. You might be able to see in the background of my runescape here, this portal is attuned to Legiones. I do have a few Legio kills. I have, I wanna say two or three. Um, I tried to do, I did some for when I was trying, yeah, I have one, because I wanted to get the regular Reaper title. So getting one is definitely a good way to get your boss portal, because I'm gonna be using the boss portal to go back and forth from the PVM hub. Um, but when doing that one kill, it's actually a little bit of a funny story. So you can see that I have my whole inventory and a lot of my stuff down here. I got a notification from work at the time uh, that blocked my food. And so because of that, I died because I wasn't able to panic eat at all when I messed up a mechanic. So I'm doing this again. This is effectively me learning them. I did one kill previously. I died once, got one kill. I'd call this a brand new learning. So. Go back to our setup real fast to talk about what we're bringing in our inventory so it's a little small here i might need to change this setup a little bit for future ones 
but we're bringing first potion is an overload. In this case, it is a supreme overload. Uh, I could bring an elder overload. I have elder overloads. Uh, I'm going to see how much I can do with supremes, see how much faster elders will get me. For right now, I just want to use supremes and save the elders for later. Um, I have a super prayer renewal. This is good for prayer. We need prayer here. That's pretty much it. And a replenish the bleh, replenishment potion. So replenishment potions also give you prayer points, but the main thing that they do is they give you adrenaline, which is pretty important, I think. Um, some restore flasks, some cerebrews, and some rock tails. That's all pretty standard. What we're also gonna do is we're gonna open up. All right, so we are actually going to just for fun, even though I don't think I'm gonna be spending a ton of time here, I don't think it's gonna be required. One thing that we're missing is bringing a yak. So I'm gonna also bring a yak full of food. And if we want to fill our yak, we're just gonna fill them up with food. You don't need to worry too much about extra inventory space actually at Legionis because you have to use a separate key every kill and they only drop one or two things, uh, often money. So it's not super important. I don't think it's something you really need to worry too much about, but I'll leave some swaps open just in case. So we're pretty much ready to go. Um, this is our full setup. I don't think there's anything special here. I think one of the, one of the few things that was mentioned uh, was using frag shot and corruption shot early. So another thing that I also do when I'm learning bosses is I'll always watch a YouTube guide because sometimes YouTube guides are just easier to follow than uh, the guides on the RuneScape wiki. In this case, uh, Mikeru has a pretty old guide four years ago. It's still pretty much valid. I'm not trying to really supersede his guide with me doing this learning. I just want to do this whole series because people seem to like it. So I'm basically following exactly what his guide says. Uh, the gear setup is pretty similar. Obviously, scriptures wasn't out, you know, kiln capes. I don't think we're out of the time, that sort of stuff. But um, using our bleeds early and then walking close to deal extra damage is a mechanic that uh, is worth considering. All right, and let's head over. So we're doing just Primus to start. And of course, if we want, I believe, I don't remember where this, yeah, so the current teleport puts us right next to the Primus door. So what I could do is teleport back every kill, regain, You could. I could actually drop my super prayer renewals and just use the replenishment potion and other stuff. Um, if you have PVM hub and once you get a kill, you can actually just go back surge over and then do it this way. So I am going to, I guess we'll just start it up. See, this is a little easier than I remember. Still hits hard though. And they go. That's how fast kills are here. So it's our second kill total here. I think I've gotten a little better since I, uh, oh, and that was without even taking my overload potion. I forgot a couple things. So overloads will make that faster as will an aura. We're gonna activate sharpshooter in my case. Um, I think the the accuracy auras are not actually that important here. I don't think accuracy is much of a problem, but we're going to activate it anyways, just in case. I've got nothing else to do for the next couple hours. I'm just going to use it. So we'll activate our Supreme Sharpshooter. We will... I think you can do Quick Exit is what I want to do. That's a lot faster. Of course, I don't have my audio on. Uh, something that, that could help for sure is um, if you have audio on, uh, hearing your enhanced devoted proc can definitely help. Of course, don't see. Okay, interesting. Okay, so I'm guessing it's just exit. There we go. 
Oh, I made a mistake, move a little slow. Yeah, see, we're making some mistakes. We're moving a little late. I think this is a boss where your tempo matters a lot. Making sure you keep up with how fast he's doing his attacks seems pretty important. It's something that I haven't really... Oh, 60k. Okay. Something that I haven't really worked on too much yet. Obviously, this is not a boss that I have done a ton of, but it seems to be something that's relatively important. I'll just move as soon as he does that. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, as before, uh, staying really close to him is a very good way to do a ton of damage. You can see I stood even closer to him than usual, just one tile away. I killed him basically immediately. Uh, that was a much shorter kill than the previous ones. So yeah, I mean, as as I thought before, we can close that. As I thought before, this is a very easy boss to start out. I would definitely say don't be scared of... Ooh, he hit that ahead of me. I would definitely say don't be scared of doing this boss. The main things to be sure of are stay very close and uh, keep your tempo up. You see, as soon as I get behind tempo on him, then I start getting hit with a bunch of stuff. That's about it. Wow. Okay, so... There's our first Legio's trip. Uh, it's pretty easy. I think Segundus is the exact same thing. Uh, let's take a look at the browser again. So uh, we're looking at Primus here. The lower life points he has, the more damage he deals. So sort of a, a Derox sort of thing. Uh, Segundus basically just attacks more as he gets lower. Not super... Uh, difficult or extraordinarily hard to understand mechanics. Our goal for trip two is to not sign. Let's go. Need to also remember to use our uh, tier 95 prayer. It's going to be an important one. Going to Primus and let's get going. You can see how important Enhanced Devotion is here. Um, if it wasn't for Enhanced Devotion, some of these kills I would probably have died just because the amount of damage he deals in that... in that. So he does his, like, lightning attack a few times. So he does his, like, raise arms lightning attack, and then he does the, like, push that one. That's his, like, basic attack, I guess. He does that, I think, two or three times, and then he does the my power increases. Just the damage from the, the my power increases, nothing will stop my power attacks. That does an absolute ton of damage. So that's really, I think, the main mechanic here is not dying to him doing a ton of damage all at once. Hey! We're, we got our first signet drop, boys. Let's go! We are, in fact, out here. So we are one out of six on our way. We have achieved something on the drop log. I understand it's a one in 50. I know this is not a difficult drop to achieve. I'm just happy that we got something while we're here. But I must admit, quite a nice drop to see on our, our second ever full trip. Again, I know they're, uh, they're common, but so am I. So you know what? What can I say? Yeah, I think like crafting a, a custom action bar specifically for Legionis, just for the right rotation of, of abilities, that'll just kind of do what I need automatically with no, without like making revolution effectively do what just having full manual on would do. Oh, I misclicked. Didn't sign. Let's go. We're good. And drop off our first signet. Okay, so Secundus. 
this is my first time doing Secundus ever. The previous one kill I had was Primus. Um, he's effective with the same. You just kind of ignore him. Uh, apparently, he uses the Lightning Orb attack more frequently. Um, I think that just means that he does the arms raise thing more often. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see. We'll find out. Uh, my sign is not on cooldown, so that's an important thing to know. Okay, I see what they said about it, him not being that different. It seems to be about the same. In fact, I would almost say that he's easier than Primus. So, that's good. These are cheaper keys. I hope we get Primus quickly so I don't have to worry about uh, paying for a ton of Primus keys. All right, so we got a, got a minute here. We can sort of chill, see how many. What have we done so far in terms of Legio kills? Yeah, so 33 in half an hour, so about 65 per hour, and that's counting me being slow. I don't have a setup for refilling my inventory or anything like that. While we're here, since I've done this here, let's go over my sort of my learnings from just doing two runs at Primus and one run at Segundus. So basically, I was right for sure about them being pretty easy. Uh, these are not difficult bosses to kill. They're very fast. Um, each kill is 30 seconds, even with my kill times, which aren't as good as they could be. I could probably get them down to 20 to 25 with Elder Overloads and a little more consistency and a better bar. Um, so those, 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 let's start with each one of those learnings. So, one, uh, they are as easy as I thought, but I can get better at them. I think the ways to get better are better overloads, mentioned a couple times. Uh, being more consistent with my prayer usage, I wasn't using it at the very beginning. I started started using it as I went in. Um, getting a better book, or at least a book that I understand and activating it, definitely good. Uh, vampirism aura, actually using the vampirism, uh, an aura that's going to help me. I don't think Sharpshooter is helping me very much. I think I could use uh, special ammo types. I'm not 100% sure I need to, but special ammo types could be good. And then I think one last thing that would definitely be good. I forget what the what the Zuck Cape ranged effect is. <sighs> but yeah, I think that's that's kind of it. Other than obviously like better weapons and really obvious stuff can improve my kill times for sure. Better weapons, you know, slightly better gear. Obviously getting the the Zuck ranged cape in general is going to improve my damage. Then also getting it, the ability that it unlocks is going to improve my damage. Um, That's kind of it. I guess, did I mention improving my bar so it doesn't, like this is a very janky bar. It has dacing shot, even though I'm not using a two hand. Uh, it has surge on it, even though surge is my like basic keybinds. That's most of it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it actually for the, at least the recorded version of this video. So for people on YouTube watching this in the future, thanks for watching. Um, you can follow me on Twitch. I'm streaming this right now on Twitch and I will probably stream more interesting things as well in the future. Uh, so be sure to follow me there. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, it's underneath the video if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're currently watching this on Twitch, it's uh, right there. You can go to the YouTube and follow that there. I would very much appreciate it. I've been putting a lot more effort into videos recently, so that would be super, super cool. But uh, at least for the people on YouTube, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.